with its gold color and stunning rings, Saturn is quite a planetary gem. Saturn is the second largest of the eight planets and it is about 10 times as wide as Earth. Despite its size, Saturn is actually the lightest planet. It is predominantly made of the gases, hydrogen and helium. And because of its particular gaseous composition, Saturn is the only planet in the solar system that's less dense than water. If the planet were placed on an enormous ocean, it would be able to float. Saturn's gaseous makeup also means it has no true surface. At its center, the planet has a dense core of water, ice and rocky material, but it has no actual landmass. Instead, it's mostly made of gases, liquids and yellow ammonia crystals that swirl around the planet creating golden clouds and storms. Thanks to the Cassini probe, we have more astonishing information about this beautiful planet. Saturn has the second fastest wind in the solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1800 km per hour. Every 30 years, the planet produces what is called a great white spot, which is a unique but short-lived phenomenon that occurs once every Saturnian year. The largest storm on Saturn is at its North Pole. It's over twice the size of the Earth and shaped in a near-perfect hexagon. Saturn's ring system is the largest and most complex in the solar system. The rings are made of icy and rocky remnants from comets, asteroids and moons. Saturn's rings are thought to be remnants of the cloud of gas and dust that initially formed the planet. Some say the rings are comprised of debris from moons that entered within Saturn's Roche limit which in this context refers to the radius within which a moon will be torn apart by the gravity of the planet it orbits. The ring system is divided into seven group of rings. Saturn has fascinated scientists and amateur astronomers alike for thousands of years. The ancient Greeks and Romans who named the planet after their god of agriculture believed it was a star. It wasn't until the 17th century after the telescope was invented that scientists like Galileo Galilei, Christian Huygens and Giovanni Cassini could take a much closer look and discovered that Saturn was a planet. Because of the Saturn's inhospitable environment, the planet cannot support life, but some of its moons might. The Saturn has the largest number of moons in the solar system. Enceladus, one of the Saturn's smallest moon, is covered in ice. Enceladus exhibits geyser activity, making it the smallest known geologically active object in the solar system. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, is the only moon in the solar system with clouds and a dense atmosphere. The clouds rain down liquid hydrocarbons like methane and ethane, making Titan the only body in the solar system other than Earth to clearly have bodies of liquid on its surface. Both Titan and Enceladus have underground oceans that would make them potentially capable of sustaining life. Saturn's moons also play a role in shaping the planet's rings. Saturn also has a dead star orbiting it called Mimas. Saturn does have a magnetosphere which is strong enough to deflect solar wind from the sun. Saturn's magnetosphere, like Earth, provides magnificent array. On Earth, 
the light of our ray is mostly from oxygen atoms and nitrogen molecules. On Saturn, it is from hydrogen. The average orbital distance of Saturn from the Sun is 870 million miles and one year on Saturn takes almost 30 Earth years. One day at the equator of the poles lasts about 10 hours and 40 minutes and everywhere else the day lasts 10 hours and 38 minutes. This is because Saturn is indeed solid and is not rotating at the same speed all over. Saturn is the farthest planet that can be seen by humans without help from a telescope. Despite all that we have learned from Cassini, Saturn still remains a world of mystery.